Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a multi-talented woman. You saw her on the big screen in Malcolm X, What's Love Got to Do With It, and countless others of our favorite films. Mm -hmm. Please welcome actress and comedian and Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. Oh, I, I gotta tell you, it's so good to see you. Yes. It really oh is. Wow. You were probably one of the first persons that I saw on television. I was like, she is so beautiful. Pretty, yes. Like her skin yes. complexion was just oh, radiant on camera, thank just gorgeous. You. Thank and you so much. You're just still real pretty in person. I'm grateful. So just I am grateful, grateful, yeah. grateful to God and Mama Nim. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta give it to Mama and Mama yes. Nim, Mom and Daddy had a little bit of fun. We know at least five times because it was five of us that they right, right, right. But I'm just grateful. Whatever happened that night that they was working on me, uh, yes. it kind of worked together. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. So what are you wearing? You look amazing. I love oh your head wrap and I love yes. your PC. Well, listen, what is sisters, supporting sisters, I always say, that's mm -hmm. my thing. This is by a wonderful designer, Brenda Bronson Bay out of New York. And she has it's something nice called Tribal too. Truths. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, I like to wear my garments. Mm -hmm. You know, I was Wakanda before Wakanda. Yeah, yes, yeah. you were. <laughs> and so, Brenda Bronson Bay was one of the people that made it possible. Yeah. And she kind of influenced me because I have a, a clothing line that I'm putting together called Culture Chic and Butter Baby. Ooh. For sisters with butter. Yes. Baby. baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's I like, like that. I that's like that. Yes. Well, you know, Rashawn was just talking about some of the movies that you've done, but your resume is so long. Mm -hmm. and, but I would just like to personally say the Inkwell and the Women of Brewster Place were two of my favorites, Ooh, by the way. Wow, wow. Loved two of my them. favorites, absolutely, yes. But let's, tell us, how did you get started in the business? Wow, well, I actually started behind the camera. I never thought I'd be an on-air person. I never thought, you know, being richly melanated uh, mm -hmm. at that time, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and I still mm -hmm. am, thank God. Mm -hmm. But um, I never thought that they would be invited to be on camera. Wow. So I really, really was interested in production. Mm -hmm. So I was blessed to go to the Institute of New Cinema Artists. I was thinking, looking at UCLA and went there for a minute, but then I got invited to a program where I would actually be paid to learn production. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's and good. And so I opted for program. that one. I opted <laughs> for that one. Program. Let's just say mm -hmm. I went for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in the Institute of New Cinema Artists. Uh, there was a man, Cliff Frazier, who was the CEO and founder. Ruby D. Ozzie Davis came into my life because wanting to understand how to talk to actors, I went to a theater uptown in Harlem called New Heritage Theater. And under the tutelage, mm -hmm. tutelage of uh, Roger Furman, I learned not only how to speak to actors, but I became an actor. Right. Yes. And so eventually I married those two worlds, production and acting. And then I started doing comedy in the streets of New York, right. passing the hat. You know, really making them stop, stay, then pay, mm -hmm. and so it all kind of melded together. Right, and I'm I'm back now to do. So what you're I back, did. yeah, you're back, you're back in the game. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but you took a little hiatus. Yes, what, I, where, where were you? Well, I, I had a, a beautiful and amazing mother. Oh, I should say we, because I have amazing siblings: Timothy, uh, Ngozi, uh, Eric, and Randall transitioned after mom mm -hmm. uh, a few months later, and my that's what brings me to Atlanta. I often have an amu amazing a niece and her children. Children, uh, Anya, who helps me in my production, okay. uh, my production company. But I really took a moment to just have a real life. Mm. I wanted to give my mother back what she gave me and what she put into me. Mm -hmm. So for five years, uh, sh I, we moved her to Houston to live with my sister. Mm -hmm. She had two girls and three boys. And uh, I took some time to just spend with her and let her know the reason that I wanted to be famous or was to make her proud mm -hmm. for all the times that I disappointed her as a little girl not oh, understanding. Don't say that. Oh, I did. I was a girl. I was a child. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me keep it 1,000. I was a child. Yes. Yes. I was. Yes. Yeah. It's okay, though. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> good on that. Right. Yeah. And so I took some time to travel with her. She transitioned two years ago. Mm -hmm. Love her immensely. Still talk to her as much as I can. And my father, who was an amazing man. So I just took some time to figure out how I could uh, find my way like Double Dutch. Yeah. You got to find that way when yeah. you can get back That's in. Right. Right. That's and I right. took that time. Yeah. So you're going to be at Uptown Comedy. Uptown Comedy Corner. Oh, when? Sunday. Yeah. This Sunday? This Sunday. One show only, people. Get your tickets now. Yeah. Don't be waiting, I rage. <laughs> Don't be waiting. <laughs> OK. Get your tickets we, today. What? Don't be waiting. Come through. OK. okay. Get your tickets <laughs> today. <laughs> UptownComedy.net. Yeah. You already yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Ye
you, Miss oh Phyllis. Oh, of course, we had a pleasure having you down to the circle. Be sure yes. to follow her on Instagram at Phyllis Yvonne Stickney in order to keep up with her. And if you're staying for the full hour, you are staying with us hey. for one more break. Yes. But we got to tell them to still get, get your tickets. Hi, hi. Get your tickets today. <laughs> Don't you work on the night. Get your tickets. All right, a while. Yeah. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're still at the table with actress and comedian and Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, and I'm happy to have you here because mm -hmm. I got, I got to, you know, I, I ask some tough questions sometimes because it's just because I'm curious. I want to know thoughts. I want to look at things from a different perspective. Let's talk a little bit about Netflix and Monique. Monique recently filed a lawsuit, lawsuit against Netflix for race and also gender discrimination. What do you make of that? Well, interestingly enough, I had the opportunity to work with Monique uh, July 18th in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And um, what I shared with Monique is that there, there are those of us who were sitting at the table before, so a conversation <laughs> uh, with, with some of us, and I'm talking about myself because mm -hmm. I went through a lot of things that I didn't talk about in the press, it wasn't important, because I understood that there are times and things, you have to deal with timing, you have to deal with a lot of things when you're a person of color. Mm -hmm. I think that she made choices that were important for her to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she made choices and decisions based on where she was trying to go and is trying to go. And I believe that even though we may not have appreciated the way she did it or uh, liked the way she did it or have had problems with the way she did it, the fact that she did it mm -hmm. and it worked for what was informing her and her mm -hmm. life, I have to support her in whatever mm -hmm. that is because I don't know inside her camp, inside her home, what she needs. So what's best That's for good. her, That's it's good. her decision to yeah. make. Yeah. But we do know that there are discrim discrimination is alive and well. Oh, absolutely, not, it has know. not changed. There's right. isms and isms and the isms continue. Right. Um, I think that she now has another network that's reached out to her and it's probably a result of what she did. She right. made some noise, you know. Being yes. bold, yes. being bold. Being bold, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so I know about being bold. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, getting back to uh, discrimination, the, the Oscar noms just came out recently. What are your thoughts? On you that? know, I, I tell them, I used to say I'm allergic to BS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really don't buy into it in that same way. Because we have to be clear, there's a book that I invite people to read. It's called An Empire of Their Own by Neil Gabler. If you have not read that book and you're in production, you're doing yourself a disservice. Mm -hmm. Because it tells you about how it says, and the title of it is An Empire of Their Own, How the Jews Invented Hollywood. So once you read that book, you're clearer about what the playing field is. Mm -hmm. And those of us who haven't read that book, sometimes we expect things that we don't realize are not in the cards. Mm. It's just not in the deck. And so when you understand what the cards in the deck are, you can play your hand a lot better. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Are we trying to get at the table that is not proverbially ours. That's in, in essence, that's what you're saying. Well, I have a motto, not instead of, but in addition to. Mm. So I think in addition to that, that there, uh, one of the things that I, I'd like to do is to present and produce award shows that have not been seen by others that are exciting for us, you mm -hmm. know, uh, like the Adelco Award that's never been televised. I pray that I'll be able to produce that this year. Yeah. You know, there are other things like Denzel and all the people that we look and support and applaud in film have received this award in theater first for their mm. excellence in theater. And I think that's important because that's what Hollywood used to feed itself mm -hmm. were the writers that were once writing for black theater. Mm -hmm. And I'm a product of the black theater experience. That's how I came to Atlanta of the work and that's how I go to St. Louis to work. And so there is a network, there is a green book for theaters mm. that existed oh, wow. before and there's a green book. So I don't think that that is the end all or be all right. of anything, right. but I do think that if we are excluded, we should not be surprised, but find a way to create our own conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the black female lead as far as comedians are concerned. Tiffany Haddish is in a brand new movie. What's the name of that? Like, like a boss, boss. like, like a, a boss. boss. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on that and 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 continuing to move that forward? Well, I, first of all, I like Tiffany because of what she did. I just sent her. I don't DM. I'm just getting to the new world of Instagram, <laughs> or whatever. And I DM you, Tiffany. Holla back, girl. <laughs> 
but what I said in my DM is what I felt because I was nervous about, oh, I don't know these people. But what I said to her was, I see you. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing. And what was important to me was that she made a promise to people that if I become this, I'm going to come back and get you. And she did. Yes. And so to me, that was the most important. That speaks to who she is mm -hmm. as a person. Yes. And what she is and how she moves through the universe is what she's able to share with us. She's a natural. I, that's how I see Tiffany. She's a natural person who really it brings her authentic self to the space that she occupies. And it works. Yeah. Yes. It works for whatever the, you know, however she's cast. I do, I would like to see uh, people cast people <clears throat> that have a little history and a little time in mm -hmm. the game as well. Yeah. Just a little. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I think that comedy has always fed um, the H Hollywood uh, film uh, casting. Yes. And so it continues and it's working for Tiffany, it's working for others. And I applaud her because she's doing well with her success. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned really quickly, um, Ms. Quad, um, she, she reached back. We talked about this yesterday. Yes. When we get into position as black people, is it our responsibility to bring people forward with us. Absolutely, I think that that's part of the problem in some situations that, uh, and, and, I, and I speak to my babies especially, reach out and get an, a, an elder or get someone that's seasoned that can kind of show you the ropes or give you, but also to the elders as we talked on radio yesterday, make sure that you have your humility in place as they should have theirs in place as well. Because neither one of us can make it without the other. That's true. Mm -hmm. And so and that's important. you cannot make it without talent. And, and I think that's one thing that we were, we were wanting to be very clear yeah. on yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people feel entitled because you've made it, then it's your responsibility to see to it that they make it. They cannot make it without talent. They cannot make it without discipline, nor hard work and dedication. And the hookups is just not it. Short yes. cups and hook, uh, shortcuts and hookups for me don't always work because nepotism does not work and if they don't have talent. You know, right. make sure that they can fill the position, not just because, and, and listen, in production, there's 800 lines on a film budget. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you know can fill one of those line mm -hmm. items. Just make sure that they're qualified. You know, yeah. I try to bring people along. You know, here's my sister here. The makeup that I'm going, Mocha, my sister Kena Williams in Dallas, Texas. I like I'm, that. Bronzer, listen, uh, baby, Kena, it's Kena, called. Nice listen, I don't wear a mocha. <laughs> I wear makeup. That's what the thing is. I love and I will it. be. We will be sharing her makeup, oh, her nice. lipstick and stuff. So you will be hearing about it. Yes. And, and I'm going to become her spokesperson, Vion Carter, who came in this morning to do my makeup. I mean, you know, yeah. sisters supporting sisters. We see you guys do it yeah. every day, but yeah. we have to transmit, transmute, transform, translate that into our everyday lives. Yeah. Let's talk about really quickly your production company and what projects are you looking to put out soon? Well, Private Stock Studio, it was a name that I came up with a while ago because I was like, okay, we're that special, we're that special breed that we're that special and some things we keep in our vault we don't want for everybody to have mm -hmm. right away mm -hmm. so private stock studio is something that was a brainchild from 1998 when I was inducted into the Hall of Fame in Arkansas mm -hmm. and I decided that I wanted to go back home and do as I say what Tyler Perry did for Atlanta I'd like to do for Arkansas oh, wow. and so um, I started you know, making my inroads then. Uh, it's a much more friendly territory mm -hmm. now. It's a much more open. They're ready now? They're more ready than they were. Right. They have a black mayor in Little Rock now. Oh, awesome. uh, a lot of things have happened. If you don't know the history, you know that's where segregation of the schools really started. And so Private Stock Studio is taking its place to begin to produce quality. I would like to do female lead, uh, mm. female stories. And I uh, also say uh, untold stories of the South, mm. yes. things that we just haven't talked about. Wow. And well, fabulous right. ladies of the South. Yes. 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 Well, we appreciate you being here and sharing your love and your knowledge you. and your energy, most yes. importantly. Please give it up for Phyllis Yvonne Stickney. <laughs> Make sure you follow her on Instagram. She knows how to DM. She knows how to check it and reply. <laughs> Get started, so give her a minute. <laughs>